distribution is pretty much related to binomial distribution. When it comes to its condition, the only difference will be the first condition. The geometric um, experiment will have no fixed number of trial in its experiment. So all the other conditions, like the second condition, there are two possible outcomes, success and failure, and the trials are independent, and the probability of success is consistent for every trial. It's pretty much the same as the binomial distribution. So notice that only condition number one will be changed for a geometric experiment. Now for your notation, since you don't have a fixed number of trial anymore, you only need your x, which is the number of success, your probability of success, which is your p, and your probability of failure, which is q, to be able to answer probability questions involving geometric distribution. The formula for finding the probability in a geometric experiment will be p times q raised to x minus 1, wherein the measures of the geometric distribution will also change. So we can still find the expected value, the variance, and the standard deviation of a given di geometric distribution by applying these formulas. So for the first formula, mu of x, which is the mean of x, is equal to 1 over p, or probability of success. To find the variance of a geometric experiment, it's simply q all over p squared, and its standard deviation is the square root of q all over p squared. And these are the things that we are going to consider before we can answer problems involving geometric experiment. Here are some of the examples of a geometric probability experiment which uses the geometric random variable. So for the first experiment, we have flipping a coin until you get a tail. For the second experiment, rolling a die until you get a two. And for the third one, attempt a three-point shot until making a basket. So notice that all three examples in my board right here doesn't involve the number of trial. So for, for example, for number one, um, you can flip a coin, and for the, your first flip, you can end up with a tail right away. And also, there can also be a condition or uh, a trial wherein you uh, have been flipping your coin, let's say, 100, and time, 100 times, and you're still not getting or you're still not landing a tail. So that would happen, and it's pretty much what the geometric probability experiment tells you. Now, for example number one, let's answer this uh, probability question involving a geometric distribution. Suppose 3% of Mr. Dalton's computers is defective. What is the probability that Spencer will be assigned to the fifth computer which happens to be broken? Now, example number one is a geometric distribution because it satisfies the four conditions that I have just mentioned. Now, to answer this question, we just need to organize our givens. So we know that we have x or number of success in this case, will be the fifth computer that Spencer will use. The probability of success is 0 0.03, and the probability of failure, which is 0.97. Now, to answer this question, what will be the probability that Spencer will be assigned to the fifth computer, which happens to be broken? It's going to be P, or probability, of x equal to 5, because it's exactly on the fifth computer. And if you use your formula, p times q to the x minus 1, p is 0 0.03 and q is 0.97.4. Using your calculator, it will give you 0 0.0266. Therefore, the probability that the fifth computer is defective will be 2.66%. Now, if you have a TI-84, you can simply use your new feature in your TI-84 that we're going to use in this um, probability experiment, which is GeoMet PDF. So since this is x equal to 5, we're using PDF, that's why the syntax will only include the probability of success and x. You don't need the number of trials anymore because it only works for binomial or binom PDF. So binom PDF, p and x, 0 0.03 and 5 will still give you the same answer as what we got right here, 0 0.0266. Now for our last example, 25% of women working in the outlet center have never been married. Now suppose we randomly select women who are working in the outlet center. Let's see how, we'll, how we are going to answer 
sub question A, B, and C. For the first question, what is the probability that the fourth woman we select says she's never been married? So here our P or the probability of success will be 0.25. And x, which is the number of success, will be equal to 4. Because the fourth women, or we're only concerned about the fourth women being uh, never been married. So to illustrate your calculator function and to answer problem set letter A, P of x equal to 4 is simply geomet, PDF, probability of success, and the number of success, which is 4. And it will give you... 0.1055 using your calculator. So therefore, the probability that the fourth woman we select will say she's never been married is 10.55%. Now to answer letter B, what is the probability that the first four women we ask say they have never been married? So to illustrate this question, let's say we pick the first woman in the outlet center who's, or who happens to be working at the outlet center says she's never been married. The second woman we select st still says she's never been married. The third woman and then the fourth woman, all four women, says they have never been married. So what will be the probability that that will happen? So to do that, we will have to illustrate the geomet CDF. So it's probability of x less than or equal to so that probability using your calculator will give you 0.6836. So therefore, the probability the first four women we select will say they have never been married will be 68.36%. And to answer the last question, what is the expected number of women or women who have never been married working in the outlet center? So again, your key word here is expected. So the expected number of women is simply the average or the mean of your geometric distribution. And the mu of x in a geometric distribution is given by the formula 1 over p. And by plugging it in, 1 over 0.25 will give you 4. So there will be 4 women that we expect to say that they have never been married in the outlet center given this question in our geometric probability experiment.